just went to go get a burrito um, and uh, I just wanted to I wanted to eat it in my own privacy and not have you guys watch me mash burrito in my mouth um, before things before things get started um, I want to share some stories with you guys um, first off kind of funny while I was getting food I'm from a small college town so nothing too exciting goes on but as I was getting my Mexican food to go I noticed as I was driving on the way back I was waiting at an intersection and uh, something I'd never seen before happened a car on hydro hydraulics uh, three-wheeled its way through the parking lot and I was like oh this is a thing that exists now and I guess I guess that's okay so that happened but that was just something that I never imagined I'd ever seen in my life and it happened so I'm glad I got to see that and now I'm sharing that with you guys but the, the big thing the other thing is is that um, this game uh, this visual novel this series has kind of here's the fun part about this so I thought I had told uh, Evan a uh, person who worked on this for a while I thought I had told him about um, finishing Unlimited it turns out didn't I'm sorry I thought I did I sincerely apologize but I did and um, the other thing about that though I think what kickstarted me into that was I watch not the um, there's two anime series. It wasn't the one that was focused on the Japanese. I can't remember the name of the title. But I watched Schwartz's Marken, the the one that took place in um, in like uh, East Germany and West Germany during like the Cold War, and because uh, it's a different timeline. And so that was just like, and I just saw the series. I was like, wow, this is really good. And, uh, I mean, considering, and so I watched it, and I was really impressed with it, and so I watched it, and I was like, you know what, I really, really, really should finish Unlimited, and so that was the thing that kicked me into Unlimited, because I just, I love the history of it, if you can get me into, if you can get me anything into history, that has history in the real world, or that is a really cool set of lore behind it, I'm all for it, and I'm immediately sucked in, and this, this story, this, this game, an alternative, has really sucked me in because the lore behind it and all the drama and all the intensity behind it is just so cool. So I, I want to give a massive shout out to in, to enjoy Evan Evan um, because A, I owe him a massive apology for not playing this sooner. B, um, holy shit, thank you so much, so much seriously. Thank you, Ev. You have no idea how much it means to me, but thank you for donating as much as you did because like I went through I went through Hurricane Katrina as a kid and like like that money really goes somewhere like it really it really goes to a place where people help it I mean I know that people who are affected by Harvey you know the waters are receding things are starting to get better but it's like you know they're going to be without power they're going to be without you know grocery store access to like food foodstuffs and water for a while and like you know that money that was donated is gonna go you know it's gonna help people and that's that's really that's really why i wanted to do this stream was to help people because it's like i've been there dude it fucking sucks so this is the reason why i started to stream and you know people like people like you know you are kind of inspiring me and helping me to to get to reach my goals and to help others in a re very in a very real way through video games. So, massive shout outs to those who have donated. Uh, primarily, enjoy Evan because he has donated quite a bit of money. And uh, without further ado, I think we should get back into it. And we're going to be up as we're going to be up as long as I possibly can. I had my food. I'm ready to go. I have a half liter of beer. So I'm ready to go on that end. So let's fucking get to it. All right, Kasumi. So Kasumi was waking us up last time. Ugh, 
you're supposed to yank it off with the, with reckless abandon. This feels more like reverse tucking me in. <laughs> Damn it, now I'm way too antsy to fall back asleep. Still, though, the blanket pull is a pretty high-level technique for a beginner to attempt. I'm impressed. You've leveled up. Good work. Well done, my child. Good morning. Bye bye. Good morning. Bye bye. Oh. Today's the 11th. Yeah, that's when the beta are gonna come, dude. You know this shit, too. Hey, so, uh, there might be an alarm today, but don't worry too much about it, alright? Okay. Hi. Cool. See ya. Ara, ohayo. Morning. Where is everyone? Ah, so she is. You think they're all still asleep? Well, what are you gonna do today? So, ne. Just curious. Oh, morning, Mia. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I'll go grab something real quick. If I'm right, and it really does happen today, they'll call the emergency summons just past 8.30. What time is it now? Oh, it's probably close to 8, so shit. Ah, terrible as it is to say this, I'm actually hoping for this disaster to take place. It needs to happen, unfortunately, for the good of all mankind. Yuko-sensei has really been testing my moral compass lately, but at the end of the day, I think she's definitely right about this one. Oh, shit. Nope, go away! Okay, thank you. If I'm going to save the entire human race, I've got to learn to stop getting so emotional. I think it just hurts because I can't be as pragmatic about it as Yuko-sensei is. I've been witness to the end of mankind as we know it, and I can't bear to live through it again. I'd do literally anything to prevent it. At least that's what I'd like to think. But maybe my conviction wasn't as rock solid as I thought it was. Okay, I'm back. So, you uh, no, why? Uh, hmm? Hmm? Oh, she has me in her sights. Me? What's this about? What's she got in her hand? Huh? Man, that's gotta hurt. That plate base plant was like worthy of an award or something. What's wrong? Mikoto. Dude, come on. Rip. Uh, you're what? Now it's all starting to come back to me. I'm pretty sure I slept in this day since it was a day off, and that I ran into Yuko Sensei and Kasumi up here. Class rep and the others were long gone by then, so I guess this is what they were doing. Would I have been able to actually see the so called dancing butterfly if I hadn't been the if I if it hadn't been for the emergency summons? That's sad. Makoto, sad Makoto makes me sad. 
Wait a second, are you seriously crying about this? If there is a god, I seriously hope he isn't wasting his time on trivial crap like this. Aww. She really cares about this. You probably could have done it again if you'd had your eyes open the first time. Nah, pretty sure it is. <laughs> She's so happy. One of them was probably being sarcastic, if I had to guess. I mean, eh? Hmm? Oh, right. Hey, 30. If I'd slept in like last time, everyone would have probably left the PX by now. I'm changing little things like this every single day. But that being said, is the alarm still gonna go off or not? What are you gonna do today, Maya? What's that look for? Damn, girl, alright. Damn, training your day off? What a trooper. Huh? Oh, uh, no, not really. I was just thinking, like, boy, time sure flies on our days off, you know? Oh, please. Giving your muscles some time to recuperate is to a totally valid part of any training room. It actually is, though. Huh? Oh, right. Sure, let's do that. I guess it doesn't matter what I do right now. I mean, the alarm hasn't gone off yet, so... Is it just not gonna happen? There it is! So I guess that means I haven't changed enough yet to affect, really affect the big picture. Doesn't matter, we gotta move. よし、上京を説明する。本日、丸六二丸、佐渡島配部から出現した旅団規模のベータ軍が海底を南下。同丸六二七、帝国海軍日本海艦隊が守る海防ラインを突破した敵は新潟へ上陸。丸六四八、
I mean, we know what happens, but like. Shit. これは訓練ではない。我々のすぐ目の前で、そして今現在、同胞が命を落として敵と戦っているのだ。ただいまより訓練兵6名は完全武装し、命令あるまで待機を命じる。了解。かける。どうした？Oh, sorry, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I knew all of this was going to happen, and yet I'm powerless to do anything but stand here, gazing up at the sky. And even as we speak, beneath the same sky, there are people putting their lives on the line to fight the beta. In an attack we allowed to happen, just to prove the credibility of my predictions. As a result of that decision, the IJA is being forced to fight the same brutal battle all over again. I don't think their blood is being spilt in vain, but that doesn't make me feel any less powerless. All I can do is stand here, helpless as an infant. So this is reinforcing the fact that, like, I made the wrong choice, and I should have pressed harder to convince, um, Yuko-sensei. But I didn't. And that is the choice I made. I could have done something to prevent this, but for the sake of the greater good, I had to hold back. It was the only rational decision. I absolutely understand that. It's just hard to come to terms with. This guy is me. あれから三十分だね。長い。長い。The this is new. Isn't it? Sweet. Mm. It's not new. It's exactly like I said it would happen. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What does it mean that everything I've done these past few days has had virtually no effect on this incident? That'll be crucial to remember when planning our response to the major incidents that still to come. I'd better discuss this with Yuko Sensei at later. Now that I really think about it, though, I guess it was just as likely that the changes I made could have caused the situation to take an even more frightening turn. I can't believe I didn't see that until it was all over. I'm so stupid. No wonder Yuko Sensei gives me so much shit. I don't remember this part. Was I already on the verge of passing out at this point? Not that it matters. Now that I'm going through it again, I'm noticing that this all happened pretty fast. They wrapped up this entire incident in no time flat. I gotta go see Yuko Sensei. Sensei. Well, do you believe me now? あなたの記憶が事実である可能性はかなり高くなったわ。これからはあなたの知っていることを事実と考えることにしましょう。Awesome. 
Right, but now I've I've earned her trust, which is good. You mean it? Does that mean things aren't going so well? So she really has hit a dead end with her research. So she really has hit a dead end with her research. Sorry to hear that. Will do. Goodbye. Episode 2. Pant, pant. Alright, target acquired. My breathing steady. I can do this. Oh. Oh shit! It's already happening? So it's finally time. It's the comprehensive combat skill evaluation, right? No matter how many times I see this, it still feels so freaking wrong. Freaking out of place and wrong. When I just when I saw her just lounging out here like the last time, I could hardly pick my jaw up the floor. But now that I know her better, I can tell Yuko Sensei was not was just coming here to relax for a bit. Makes sense since she's having trouble with her research and all. But if it's just a little R and R she's here for, she could have at least brought Kasumi along for the ride. <laughs> Fuck, where have I heard that before? I just realized in this shit. Right. Gotta keep an eye out for something that make a good pre that make for a good present. Thanks, Teach. This is the second time of taking this exam. There's no way in hell I'll need that radio. Might as well just might as well just leave it here. I'm even thoroughly snake proofed <laughs> with tobacco this time. Aw, oh, so no like no, like, near fellatio experience? <laughs> okay. I mean, I want to keep the stream PG, or PG-13 as possible, but still, holy shit, man. Thanks. God, it's totally falling apart. How am I even going to use this thing? If only I had a sewing kit or something. And how am I supposed to do that? This thing's one tug away from tearing it with the seams. You sure? Yeah, good point. Huh? Hold on a second. Let's see here. Yep, my belt kit's way more beat up than any of theirs. Which means, if I let her take this one, she's just going to drop it at some point. Just like she did last time. Should I take it instead? Well, I could, but then who knows where I might drop it. 
But if Makoto takes it, then she... Then it, even if things are a little different this time, she could at least drop it in the same general area. Hopefully. I'll just have to pay extra careful attention where it didn't warn her when we get there. Shit. Yeah, let's trade. Thanks. Mm. ポンサクセンは戦闘中、戦術機を破棄せざるを得なくなり、強化外国核も使用不能という状況下で、いかにして戦闘区域から脱出するかを想定したものである。したがって、脱出が第一優先目的だ。また、報道中、地図中に記した
I know there aren't any sound-based traps around here, but I've got to figure out where the trap that got me last time is. Ever since I came back here, I've been writing down all that I can remember from the last time in a notebook, and going back over it from time to time. And going back from time to time. But even then, it's been three years since I came here for the first and only time, so my memories of this jungle are fuzzy at best. I could try to ballpark it based on how much time has passed, but I'm moving at much faster place than last time, so I probably wouldn't even come close. Man, I never thought I'd be... I never thought being in better shape would act against me. Actually, I kind of get the feeling I might have been right around... Hmm? Oh, shit. There's a black thing under those leaves by the dead tree over there. Hey, Makoto. Mm hmm? You see those huge leaves over there? See how they're covering up something black? You're welcome. Yeah, I'll bet. You think you can disable it? Yeah, good idea. Rubber bullets, huh? Must be those things I got pelted with last time. That means there shouldn't be any other traps in the area. Man, Makoto's incredible. She's got a keen eye for picking out traps. I could only find this one because I already knew what to look for. But that was it. She must have been blessed with a sixth sense for this stuff. Something that no amount of experience or technical know-how can measure up to. Be careful, dude. You never know what's out there. I need to have more confidence. I passed this thing last time, and I was a total amateur back then. It should be an absolute breeze this time around. Okay. Found it. Hey, Mikoto. Hmm? Look over here. Or look over there. Uh... On the far side of the valley like basin, I can see what looks like a cliff carved out of a mountain. And underneath it, there's a cavern. Hmm. Is Makoto reading our compass? I'm pretty sure it'd be pushing it to say we could get there today. I know it looks like it's only a click away, but we'd probably have to walk closer to three to actually get there. It definitely wouldn't be an easy task to cover three kilometers in this kind of terrain. I highly doubt we could make it there before it gets too dark. Okay, then let's rest here for today. I bet there won't... I, besides, I bet there's going to be more traps ahead of us anyway. Alright then, I'll check around for traps in this area and set up some of our own. You know, in case we get ambushed in the night. So that means no, no, no snack scene. Rip. Rip the, uh, rip the hentai dream. Will do. Well, the first day's over, and we're no worse for wear. I thought we could get there by today by keeping a faster pace, but I guess that wasn't as easy as it sounded. Oh, well. Day two is when things get really kick into gear anyway. Tomorrow we're going to break this exam wide open. Oh, no. Not at all. <sighs> Alright, actually on. <coughs> Man, I'm actually pretty beat. Let's get some sleep. Well, you know what they say. Real soldiers sleep whenever they can afford to lay down. Well, good night. Aww. Hey, Mikoto, you found anything yet? Man, this takes me back. Never thought I'd see this place again. Wait, did we even... What did we even find here? I can't quite remember. The gas for the boat. Take 
Why, did you find something? Oh, really? Whoa, a Humvee? Nice. Yeah, that's right. We did find a Humvee here. We just couldn't use it. Well, even if we could just get it up and running again, there's nothing but jungle around here. The road's, the road's totally overgrown now. What? What? Yo, she impressed by that shit. Oh, shit. Or, oh, crap. Oh, uh, well, yeah, not like I've just been spacing out this entire time. Now, come on. Let's get back to searching. Oops, that was close. I didn't actually notice the road. I just remembered it was there. I really need to watch what I say. Hey, now there's an idea. Right, now I, now I remember. We used this tarp after I got bitten by that snake. There it is! Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. There was no nipple, so that's that's good. That means I'm not getting banned tonight, which is excellent. Sorry, I just got a message. My phone just died. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. My phone is a piece of shit. <laughs> there, nothing. Don't worry about it. Let's stop thinking about this little or about that little debacle, shall we? All right. Wait, wasn't there one other thing here? Gasolina. Hey, Makoto, what about that metal drum? Oh, Gasoline, huh? Hold on. Gasoline? Why is it ringing bells for me right now? Oh! There was a boat hidden next to the helipad. Yeah, dude. And the edge was still working, too. It just needs fuel. All we'd have to do is take care of that stupid gun battery, and then we could take it straight to the finish line. Here's the thing. So here's the thing, we take the fuel, I have to empty out a canteen. Emptying out a canteen is not the problem, it's just it changes everything in the future. So I get bitten by a snake, I'm fucked. But, fuck it, let's do it. Mikoto, Nani? we should take some with us just in case. Huh? Yeah. Man, I knew she'd think it was weird. I mean, I guess I would too. Since Makoto doesn't know the boat's there, the idea of throwing away our precious water in exchange for some potentially useless fuel is simply insane. I know. At least two liters of water to survive a day to survive, right? Um. So we don't even have enough for one soldier's daily amount, even with the canteens combined. Doesn't look like I can talk Makoto into this one. Guess we'll just forget about that then. Well, fine. We'll just take then take the tarp and go. That's all there was, right? Well, so much for that idea. Okay, then let's get ready to blow this place to smithereens. 
わい軽油は燃えにくいから高圧線と組み合わせて自然発火装置を作るから Sounds good to me Is she gone? Is she really gone? She's not looking this way, is she? Alright, let's go. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, okay, I was gonna chug with him, but I, I, I got too late on that. God, water tastes delicious when you're parched. It's hard to realize how wonderful this stuff really is until you've strand, you're stranded on an island without it. Yeah, totally. I'll be right there. If she sees me chugging the whole canteen like this, I'm gonna get the lecture of a lifetime on how the on the importance of conversation, conservation. I'm probably gonna regret this later, but well, it'll be worth it. We could probably afford to empty one of these canteens, but two would definitely be pushing it. If we go straight from here, from where the boat is, right to the evac point, it won't even be a single kilometer. So we'll just need to shut down that gun battery, and the rest will be a piece of cake. What could possibly go wrong? Even with everybody in the boat, this should still be enough gas to take us one click. Yeah, it's gonna suck to have no water on hand, but I'll power through it. Just like you did last time. And it'll be nice to have this as an option when we get there. Alright, let's fill her up. This is gonna be enough. Sorry, be right there. And boom goes the dynamite. Ought to serve as a pretty good diversion, too. Should make it easier for the others to move about now. Not that there's actually anyone trying to track us down, of course. But since we're hypothetically supposed to be escaping from enemy territory, we have to make, take these pursuers into consideration, or we might lose points. Alright, we've done our part. Now we just gotta meet up with everyone else. Yeah, I know. To be sure, I didn't fare too well last time around, because you got bit in the crotch by a snake. And also, yeah. But this time, I'm gonna show this jungle who's boss. Unlike traps, we can't easily circumvent natural barriers. I definitely have a lot more stamina than I did before, but there's still a limit to how long I can climb a steep slope. I kind of, I'm kind of pissed that I haven't saved as much time as I thought I would. Too bad we can't just climb straight up; it'd be way faster. I don't want to waste a single second out here. But it'd be pretty stupid of me to get killed because I don't. I wanted to save time. Hang on, is this the spot? Pretty sure my foot was right about. Oh shit. Here. Hold up, Mikoto. There's a trap here. Can you see it? Eagle eye. Now it was a total fluke. Oh, also, uh, I just noticed this, but it looks like you're. Belt kit, belt kit's about to fall off. You're welcome. Don't mention it. Don't know. Just good timing, I guess. Yeah, she's not buying it. All right, you got me. I noticed it was starting to slip earlier, so I was, so I've been keeping an eye on it for a while. Also, for the trap, I only noticed it because the sun hit the tripwire just right. She don't believe shit. Yep, so now that I've ruined the magic for you, let's get on with this. Keep an eye on that belt kit. Now Mikoto won't lose her stuff, and our water supply shouldn't be as much of an issue. Which means my next order of business is snack. Yep, there he is, my arch nemesis. Mikoto, hold up. There's a snake right there. Let's make a meal out of him. 
Aw, oh, dang it, I forgot curry, I forgot to bring curry powder. Oh well. It's still edible, no matter how bad it stinks. Sorry about this, my reptilian friend. I'm fully aware that your kind is now on the brink of extinction. However, the simple fact is that you're also an invaluable source of protein. I hope you'll find it in your heart to forgive us for consuming you. Sustained by your flesh will save this world from destruction in your stead. Okay. <laughs> Oh ho! The survivalist extraordinaire can't handle little old snake. Uh huh. Sure. You're not convincing anybody here, dude. Don't get me wrong. I'm not looking forward to this either. These things smell like shit, and their textures revolting. They're slimy as frog. But we're all out of rations. Better just suck it up. Aw, boo. You really think that's going to give you the stamina you need? Come on. Everyone knows organic protein is the way to go. Not an option. Why the heck not? Ooh, you ate it just fine last... Oh, crap, I did it again. Nope, sure didn't. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. Oh, wait, I've got to catch the dang thing first. Got to be careful so he doesn't bite me. Don't slither away from me now just because I smell like tobacco. Dinner obtained. It's honestly not even that bad once you get used to it. Man, I can't believe this little guy made me start ha made me start having an existential panic attack. I mean, the thing wasn't even venomous for crying out loud. Guess it was just some sort of reverse placebo effect, huh? Or is it just that? Or is that just a regular one? I'm pretty sure that's just a placebo effect. Either way, I'm embarrassed to even think about it. Huh? Come to think of it, it feels like there's a completely different dynamic between the two of us now. Yeah. Last time, I was an awkward, panicking mess because she couldn't still. I still couldn't believe she was a girl. God, I hate such a stupid kid. Oh, yeah? Wait, seriously? That soon? Holy shit, that's insanely fast. On the other hand, I guess that just goes to show how much I was holding her back last time. Ah, fuck. I had no idea she'd set aside so much time to com compensate for my inevitable screw-ups. The others pro probably destroyed their objectives by now, too. I'd imagine so, yeah. In that case, let's try to beat them all to the rendezvous point. Do it, girl. That girl's seriously determined not to eat any snake, isn't she? To be fair, if I were in her boat and I were her, I'd do the same thing. The idea of eating snake just doesn't jive well that <laughs> that well with me, man. It just doesn't. Comprehensive combat skill evaluation, D3. Everything's going great so far. It's only the second night, and we're already at our de destination. Last time, it took us a full four days to get here. What? Oh, it's about time. Oh, what? Oh, crap. Better fix that. You bet we are. You two are in last place. Fuck, did I miss some lines? 
Oh, I didn't. Okay. Just wanted to check. What's with the suspicion in your eyes? ぜひ揃ったところで早速だけど、現状の把握をしましょう。玉瀬たちからお願い。私たちは脱出ポイントの書かれた地図を見つけたよ。端に脱出ポイントがあるのね。時間的に行く分余裕があると見て良いのであろ
yeah. It rained the day I got bitten, too, when I was all laid up. I see. So that's what this is. Well, shit. How could I forget about this storm? That was dumb. You could say that again, Chief. Hmm? Something up there? いや、そなたが不思議でな。はあ。落ち着きすぎているというか、何か自信のようなものを感じるのだが。You're imagining things. Okay, I'll cross over first. Then cross, you dumb bitch! It's even higher than it was when we crossed, and the rapids are much fiercer. That's a delay in the whole process, though. Not to mention, it isn't big enough to shield us from all the rain. It will only be a matter of time for everyone soaking wet. Not the rope! Makes sense. The sheer force of the impact will probably blow away the entire tree. But she wants Tama to aim for the knot just to be safe. だが、一発しかない弾薬を失うことになる。それはそうだけど。私はロープの確保を優先するわ。何か依存でもあるの私はここでライフルを使うべきではないと思う。理由は、後々何があるかわからん。強力な武器をもっと有効な局面で使うべ
私は賛成できない僕も同じだよあまりのんびりしない方がいつ読むかわからないのに持つのは賢明じゃないと思う Can't say this was unexpected It's just a squall, I guarantee it and we're already making good time I know you guys want to finish ASAP but it's not like this that's going to earn us any additional points or anything, right? Well, fuck you, Kay. Dude, that's not what I mean. I'm just saying that we should keep up, keep as many options open as we can. I don't want us to hit a dead end later on because we made a hasty decision here. <laughs> the tarp's not big enough to shield everybody from the rain, so sitting around isn't going to eat up some of our stamina. But I think I still think waiting is the best option. I know all too well that time is of the essence, far more than any of er, any of you ever could. I mean, I'm the only one here who doesn't, who knows the harrowing future that awaits us if we don't get our asses in gear. Not that I could expect any of you to believe that, of course. I need to talk them into into this somehow. Okay, okay. Then. How about this? We'll set a time limit. Let's just give it four hours. Even after the storm lets up, it'll take a while for the water to fully recede. In the meantime, we can decide whether the rifle or the rope is more important, in case we end up needing to use one of them. All right then, class rep. All right then, class rep. What's the verdict? So, if we can preserve both of these babies, the rest of this evaluation will be a cinch. Come on, class rep. I'm begging you. Hell yeah! I knew I could count on you, class rep. Music is good. Oh yeah. Awesome. I am from the future. <laughs> nah, not really. It was class rep's decision. Oh, right. S sorry, Ayumine. Let's wait until the current's a little less strong, yeah? It's not that big of a deal, seriously. And with that, we're gonna be able to preserve both of our most important tools. Everything from here on out should be relatively smooth sailing. Given that I drained my canteen earlier, that rain was kind of nice, too. Now I won't have to crawl around licking the condensation off of twigs and rocks. Wait a second. There's still another storm yet to come, isn't there? Hell yes! Halla frickin' Luya! Yeah, it happens on day five, doesn't it? Arega, dash two point to Kashira. Chizuni are a Shirushino Ichiga Machigate in Akirebana. I shoot point to my day. Last time we came under fire, just as we finally reached the evac point, the unexpected bombardment drove our helicopter away. It was incredibly discouraging for everyone to have our victory snatch away like that at the last possible moment. But this time... Could we take out the gun battery's ray dome with the rifle we had... or rifle we hit before we head over there? Actually, no, that'd probably be a bad idea. If we destroy it before we even reach the evac point, Yuko-sensei's plan would be completely ruined. This is Sensei we're talking about, so she probably never planned on letting us escape from point D in the first place. It's probably not a good idea to try and change the actual destination. Ugh, I guess I got no choice but to let them take pot shots at us again. 
顔色が悪いぞ。Is something wrong? You look somewhat pale. No, it's nothing. I'm just a little exhausted, that's all. そうか。もうすぐ演習終了だ。辛抱するがよい。Yeah, I know. Crap, was it that obvious? I really need to get my act together. タケル、置いていくぞ。Sheesh, you guys are ice cold. Would you really just ditch your own squad with me like that? Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. God, everyone just looks so happy. I feel kind of sorry for them, considering they failed last time. This must feel twice as exciting. And now, since he's gonna tear this victory right out of their grasp. But I can't exactly tell them it's too soon to be celebrating. Wait, no! Hold on a sec. Let me do it. I've always wanted to try this. Actually, it does matter. Once we start waving these smoke candles around, the gun battery will open fire. If they, could go, if they go in not knowing that, they could get blown to bits. I want to do it out on the edge. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. It was a total fluke that I survived last time, but this time I've got to take the necessary precautions. He's gonna get shot. Well, here it goes. I think the artillery fire came from that direction. Time to play on my great escape. The chopper's here, so it won't be much longer until. There it is. <laughs> Trying! I noticed! There's no way in hell. Or. At least they didn't catch me by surprise this time. There's no way in hell I'm not. I'm gonna get hit by that thing. Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> okay, so that did go better than last time, but I still almost bit the big one. My heart feels like it's gonna explode. あそこから砲撃してたよ。生きている砲台があっただなんて。ヘリ、逃げてった。どうしよう。なあ、what Imagine that. Oh, we've noticed, and you're the one who activated it. Any simpleton can figure that one out. So, you know, you're saying you're making this car. <laughs> oh boy, sounds like you guys are sure in a pickle. I wonder if you could disable it for me. She hung up. You're surprisingly calm about all this, Maya. Saigo, 
先ほどより顔色が良いぞ銃撃で血行が良くなったと見える Oh, give me a break. I was just too. I was just tense up because things were getting a little too well. I was waiting for the other shoe to drop, you know? Ha ha ha. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I think so too. Man, Yuko Sensei's a real piece of work, ain't she? Hang on a sec. This is where I dropped my canteen last time, isn't it? And then I found that boat when I. Went to go pick it up again. This time we have a rifle, fuel, and a rope. We can head to the evac point by sea once we destroy its targeting system. Hey guys, I think I dropped my canteen back there. Eh? I'm gonna go get it. I'll be right back. It's okay, I'll go around to where it can't hit me. Alright, so far so good. That gun battery should only shoot whenever its radar detects movement, right? Well, either way, there's no risk of it hitting me if I go around these rocks. Doesn't seem like it's even gonna go off anyway. So let's see. That boat then. There we are. It's just sitting there, practically begging to be used. Will it hold six people, though? One, two. Easy! So I think we'll be fine. Makoto checked it out last time, and so, even if it was like two spaces, one, two, three, four, five, and then like you could have like another person like here, six. I mean, totally fine. He said there wasn't anything wrong with it. They didn't booby trap it or anything. Just gotta add fuel, and we're golden. Sweet. Now to just get the others over here. My bad, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, come on. There was nothing to worry about. Anyway, you're never going to guess what I found down there. It was a small boat behind some of those rocks. It even had fuel in it. You fucking know it, Tama. So about that, you see the ray dome looking thing over the up on the cape over there? Ray dome? See it right over there on that cape. Hmm. Well, Miki. It looks like that ray dome is positioned to overlook this helipad. Yeah, but if it is the gun's radar, then we destroy it. It should silence the gun, too, right? I mean, it is the only thing that tells the gun where when to shoot. あの砲台を沈黙させることができればボートが使えるよ。でもセンサーがあれだけとは限らないわ。会場で狙われたら逃げ場がないわよ。I happen to know it's the only one, but I kind of doubt they just make take me at my word on that. でもヘリには反応しなかったよ。Oh, nice save, Makoto. 岬の方向から報復飛行で接近してきた回収機は砲撃されなかった。yeah, that's the stuff, Maya. Yeah, I think that's the only radar it's got. We should snipe it out and be done with it. Well, then we just don't use the boat. Time is on our side. We can always switch back to the overland route. See? That too. Do you have a clean shot? At this point, Tama still hasn't completely conquered her performance anxiety. Give her reassurance. Now that I'm aware of that, I'm I'm noticing subtle changes in her expression that I never picked up on before. 
She's not exactly brimming with confidence here. We're counting on you. You're the one who took down that shuttle as it came plunging toward us from beyond the horizon. I know you can do this. There's no point in us hovering over her. Let's spread out and keep watch. Tama's going prone. The most I can do for her now is try to keep the others from distracting her. The rest is up to you, Tama. She's timing her shot. The top of the ray dome flew off. Blew off. Nice done. Yeah, you can say that again. Just a badass? Don't mind me. Huh? Got some charge on my phone. I just want to see who messaged me. Somebody messaged me and then I tried to check and it died. Understood. <laughs> Can't we do something about this splashback? It's so freaking salty. That stupid boat is rocking like crazy. Okay, roger that. I guess I can understand how she must feel. I mean, it's obvious that everyone is on edge here. Normally, moving across the open ocean in broad daylight like this is suicide. Sorry, hold on. Hold. I'd have been just as nervous if I didn't already know that there were no other sensors. Taking this sea route is also a good way for me to conduct the little test. I want to see just how much my actions so far have affected the flow of events in this world. If I do manage to help Alternative 4 succeed, I want to know what else I can do to help humanity survive in the aftermath. This is practice for when that time com comes. He's practicing for the big boys, y'all. <laughs> Okay, here goes. Rope. We climb it. After that, we're done. Still way better than trudging through the jungle and for another day. Almost a 90 degree cliff wall, nearly 20 meters high. Looks like this will be our final obstacle. Uh, okay. What are you going to do? Whoa. She's free climbing with that rope coiled around her, and it's and at a pretty impressive clip too. You're a total beast, Ayamine. Uh, right, Roger. <sighs> Man, she hasn't even broken a sweat. Yeah. Even with the rope, climbing 20 meters is still pretty tough. Yeah, it fucking is. <laughs> climbing is works everything in your body. 20 meters. That's a lot. I gotta work on my upper body strength and balance. Whew. We used a different route from before, so there's no guarantee they'll let us pass this time. 
but it could also mean passing with a higher score. You never know. Yeah, way to go, guys. So, where's the chopper? What? There? Oh. What the hell? They were just sitting up there? Sitting up here hidden under camouflage this whole time? That's right. Uh oh. Guess we'll see how many little how my little test turned out now too. Let's go. Hell yeah! また、最大の障害と言える岬の放題を短時間で無力化した手際は賞賛に値する。Yeah, yeah. しかも、最後に because we felt it would be dangerous to move through the jungle before first light without having secured an escape route. But a wasted a day, we're on a time limit. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Soste Motomo Chime Tekinanoa Hakchu no Kaijo Danto, Gakeno Tohan Kaisuki no Hikoru Tokara, Hodai no Sensor Gatotska Naiko to Handan Stamo de Yokataga Moshi Bet no Butai Gaitara, E. Matoni Nate Tadaro. Shit. That, that only matters if we're fighting humans. It's the beta we're fighting here, isn't it? Crap. Did I rush things too much? Should I have just stuck to the exact same route as last time? Shit! Marimo-chan. Marimo-chan? Oh, shit. Of all times for me to slip up. まあいい。白金。今日のところは見逃してやろう。めでたい日だからな。え。What? <笑> At all costs, yeah. 実践において、計画通り事態が推移することは稀だ。それらすべてを味方につけ、結果として目的を達成すれば、それが正しい判断だったということになるんだ。セオリーはセオリーでしかない。結果として、貴様らを狙える位置に追撃部隊は存在しな
Are we gonna get a beach scene? <laughs> I mean, we got a beach scene unlimited, but it's like... Hey, I still gotta find a souvenir for Kasumi. Oh shit, that's right. But what should I get her? To be completely honest, I don't have the slightest clue what a girl might like. Especially not a girl as weird as Kasumi. Oh! In this seizure. Okay. It's kind of a one trick. Yeah, but where else are you gonna do it? Dang it, you guys. Ass. Ugh.どうしたの? <laughs> Oh, I did. Oh, womp womp womp. Look, there he is. He's all sad. Why do you keep giving the most important things? Oh. Oh shit. What? Whoa, guys, wait. Dunk. Episode three. I got like one more in me. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Not Sumika. Huh? Cause. Ohio. Mm, let me sleep a little longer. Dame this. Shit. Well, fine. Bye bye. No, give her a gift. Oh, hey, hold on a sec. Ah. Oops, probably not the best time to distract her. She bumped her forehead against the door. Oh, jeez. She's rubbing her forehead with the back of her hand. You probably shouldn't rub it so hard. See, now it's getting red. Oh, right. Yeah, I stopped you for a reason. Sorry about that. Good morning. You know, because I hadn't actually said it yet, so... Morning. Oh, and by the way, next time you hit your head like that, try saying, ah, or something. Bye-bye. No! Wait, 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 one more thing. I was too exhausted to do this right when we got back from the evaluation. Come on, get over here. Hold out your hand. Here, here's a little souvenir from me to you. It's a seashell. You know what that is, right? It wasn't exactly a touristy spot, so this is the best I could find, but I thought it was pretty and figured you might like it. Try holding it up to your ear. It's really cool. You can hear the ocean. Aw, oh, shoot. I was kind of hoping she'd hold it up close to one of her bunny ears. You should come along next time. And she's gone. I think she liked it? Maybe? Hollow glory. That sounds really comforting. Essentially, the computer will assist with most basic movements. Nii
頭が1つ腕は2本足も2本構成要素は人間と同じだしかし各関節は複合多重構造で自由度は人間以上人間ができる動きで戦術機にできないものはない逆に戦術機は人間には逆立ちしてもできないことを可能にしてくれる何千倍の跳躍力を何千倍の腕力を何千倍にも研ぎ澄まされた感覚を何千倍の防御力をちっぽけな貴様たちに与えてくれるのだ貴様らにできることはただ一つ一日も早く捜査に熟達し人類の敵ベータを打ち滅ぼせはい奴らをこの地球から駆逐しろはい午前の講義は以上解散基本操縦マニュアルは1日1回必ず目を通せよはい午後は強化装備を実装して英子適性を調べる各自昼食は1時間前までに済ませドレッシングルームに集合せよ以上だ解散はい、はい、ねえねえこのマニュアル全部覚えなきゃいけないのかな、Probably. <laughs> this, ju this manual is just as much of a brick as I remember it being. I did manage to get, get it all down somehow. Yeah, dude, we got to episode 4. How many episodes are there? I'm just curious. Oh, shit, that doesn't sound good. That does not sound good, Ev. Well, I'm sure a lot of it's just a matter of learning through practice. <laughs> Well, I suppose I didn't memorize it word for word either. I figured most of it I figured most of it out by practicing the simulators or in the real thing. See, here's the thing. I would be M Mickey right now. This would be me right here. I would just be like, you gotta be fucking me. I gotta read this cover to cover every other night. That would be me. So, PX, we go. Ah. Hello, cat. I'd lift the cat up for everyone to see, but she would probably claw the shit out of me. So I really don't want to. It's my roommate's cat. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. Hey, what's going on, classroom? You seem a lot more chipper than usual. She does. You are a little bit. 1時間前までに昼食を済ませておけって Yeah, because they're gonna measure our piloting aptitude, right? Oh shit, simulator time! I mean, I know that, but... そうそうさあ、ご飯食べに行こう10 chapters? Okay So we're like not even really halfway through yet Like, chapter 6 or 7 is really the halfway point then Which is cool! I'm down for a long game Because I was going to play this tomorrow. But. You're all being quite malicious. Oh. You seem a little peppier than usual, too, actually. You all think I don't know about your little scheme. Well, think again! Listen up, guys. Shit. I get I have to choose I have to choose which route I'm gonna do. Fuck. Um Uh Here's the problem. Do I want to continue the canon romance, which is Maya, right here, who has believed in me day or an unlimited believed me believed in me since day one. I played Shogi with her and everything. Or Do I want to go a different route this time? And I, I'm leaning towards a different route. I want to play the field, see what my options are. So I think I'm gonna go with Makoto. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the trap character. <laughs> you know, I think Makoto looks like she could use a little extra nourishment today. <laughs> Edible. 
Anyway, Mini, why don't you help me escort her down the PX? Hmm. Oh. Could you be a lamb and fetch Makoto's meal for her? Be sure to tell Mrs. Kyozuka it to supersize it. <sighs> and you two, don't just stand there. Help us lead our dear friend to the PX. <gasps> Oh no, oh no. Well, <laughs> whatever you mean, boy oh boy. I sure can't wait for that service pilot aptitude test. <laughs> oh, I knew. Mm -hmm. Come on now, time's a wasting. There's no. There's no escape. There's no escape. <laughs> We're like, fuck, dude, you're a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> you're fucked. What's up? This big. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be at least twice as much food. Ooh, get fucked! そんなの食べられるわけないよ。死んだよ。鎧、そなたらの企みは失敗したのだ。ゆさみよく、エイシ訓練校の伝統をその身に受け入れるがよい。ゆろいのおかげでみんな助かる。Plans change, man, you know? Standard operating procedure doesn't always go as planned. You gotta adjust for, you know, when you're in the heat of the moment. You didn't adjust. Sorry, Mikoto. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> <laughs> Evil. How's it feel to get a taste of your own medicine, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, God! Don't get banned, please! How can I put this delicately? Seeing everyone sitting here all embarrassed like this really does make them look like total newbies. I'm already used to it after last time, of course. That said, it's a little sad I can't really live the same rush as I felt the first time, first time I saw them in those suits. Fair point. I wonder if I'll have a higher aptitude ranking this time. I remember having a total breakdown last time when I saw the beta silhouette. God, I was such a wuss. But that won't happen again. I've never been in actual combat against the the beta, or at least, not as far as I can remember. But I'm still a full-blown surface pilot. Things will be different this time. I'm having the hiccups and the burps at the same time. It's great, you guys. I'm very sorry. Things will be different this time. I'm just a natural. Dude, I mean it. Seriously didn't feel a thing. Coming from you? Shut up! Oh, right, and you are. See? Takiru and I are kind of the same person. Real TSFs have the benefit of cockpit control systems that adapt to accumulated feedback data, so the pilots barely even notice the shaking after a while, because it learns. But they can also do some insane multidimensional maneuvers that produce much higher g-forces than the simulators can replicate. Moves that, moves like that cause so much turbulence that our feedback systems can't do anything about it. Getting jerked around like a little, a little like this doesn't begin to compare. Now that I've gotten used to the real thing, these simulators feel like massage chairs more feel more like massage chairs than anything. Yeah. 
って言っていたでしょうん。あやみねでさえ顔に出ないだけで相当な興奮状態が確認されたぐらいだからな。異常に興奮。センサーに嘘はつけないもんね。じゃあ、トケルさんは、あの揺れの中で本当に落ち着いてたんだ。I'm a natural. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not. It's really nothing like. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, it really is nothing like the real thing. It's just a simulation, after all. Give me a break, you guys. Sumika. I don't remember this. Oh, this is like a little boy talk room, in which case I still don't remember it. Oh, this is like the first like child interaction scene, but it was like supposed to be Maya, wasn't it? Okay, whatever. I'll roll with it. Fair point. That's so sweet. I've heard there's a lot of despair in this. I'm just waiting for the that moment. So it looks like we're an ace. Copy that. Tameshi ni to yu koto de nosete ni ta ga. Shirogane, Kisama wa senjutsuki no soju keiken ga aru no ka. Maybe? Huh? <laughs> no way. Of course I haven't. Hmm. Hmm. Something the matter? Kino no senjutsuki tokusei chi o mita kozuki hakase ga. Huh? To be honest, I was pretty hesitant about this too. After getting commissioned into in the previous world, my Geki Evan, help me with the the pronunciation. Am I butchering it completely? Gekishin's Gekishin's pilot cockpit unit was updated to be about the same as Fubuki's. However, the TSF's 
handle themselves handle very differently. I feel like I butchered both of those, but whatever. I've been using a Gekishin. Gekishin. Uh, for a lot longer. So it's no big surprise that I'd be uncomfortable in a Fubuki simulator, but I didn't realize it would respond to my commands quite this differently. Then again, I guess that kind of awkwardness will help to cover up how much experience I actually have. I'm just kind of the shit. Don't worry about me. Wowzers. Oh fuck, I didn't read any of that. The previous record was five days, huh? That's longer than I would have expected. I guess this mean I guess that means everyone else on our team was pretty exceptional too. I mean, it only took them two or three days to get to this level themselves. Yeah, that must have been Marimo-chan. That must have been why Marimo-chan was so happy with us and gave us that reward. Now it all makes sense. Gekishin. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you for... I, I actually do want to get these correct. Um, because I feel like they're going to be important later on. And I don't want to sound like complete idiots. You know, mispronouncing them every single time. So thank you. I will now pronounce it correctly. Wait a second. Didn't everybody look through my control logs to improve? So they started by imitating me. Then they used that to improve their own techniques? Not that I get too full of myself here. Not to get too full of, my, too full of myself here, but... Doesn't that mean I'm the reason they all excelled so quickly? And if that's the case, then shouldn't they be able to master even faster this time? Mm. That means we'll be able to graduate even sooner, right? Instructor. Mm? Would it be possible to let everyone else look at my control logs? If what I'm doing really is as impressive as you say, then I think we should share those techniques with the whole squad. そうですね。白金の言うことはもっともだと思います。おっしゃ。ただ。ただ。たとえ捜査記録を見てもそこで得た情報をすぐに自分の操縦に反映できるか。なるほど。客観的で逆らしい意見だな。ああ、what's so シロガネと全く同じ提案を昨日してきた人物がいる。あ、ファック。Who's ハカセはいわゆる天才だからな。どこからそれを予見したのか。我々には理解できないのよ。すごいですね。すでにハカセの提案に基づき、操縦訓練カリキュラムが大幅に変更されている。ふん。何まず、本日より貴様たちが卒
Yuko's hand dipped into the cooking jar and was like, let's just scoop you guys out and make this easy for ourselves. Alright. Oh, yup. I remember her saying something like that before. Hell yeah! We're gonna have our Fubukis so much earlier. I'm totally saving his time already. Whew. I've been starting to sweat for a while, but now everything's all coming together. This is good! I know. I know. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, on second thought, maybe I kind of overdid it. Oh, you know, just, you know, back in the day, quarter circle forward. <laughs> you want to know? You really want to know? Well, it's probably just pure talent. Then I guess I'm just not normal. Coming from you? I'm not sure I like your tone, young lady. God, don't look at me like I'm some sort of freak. Huh? I'm just a fucking god, dude. よせよろい。軍人の経験はなくともすぐれた人物に指示していればこのようなこともあろう。そうよ。あんまり詮索するもんじゃないわ。あ、そうか。そうだね。here we go, with that old non-interference policy again. Not that it stopped anyone from telling me their life story last time around. Alright, I guess I'll tell you guys the truth. No, it's fine, really. I'm sorry for keeping it a secret. See, the truth is, I'm no ordinary human being. Oh shit, what? Huh? There's a secret base called Air... Area 51 in the American state of Nevada, and the UN military is working on a top secret project there. Area 51. It's called the Super Elite Soldier Project, or SESPI for short. S E S P. I'm calling it SESPI. It's mine now. Uh, I'm the ninth of the Super Elite. I'm the ninth of the Super Elite to come from there. At S E S 009. I mean, I know there's 007, but that's not the reference I think they're making. I mean, they're, they've made that reference, but... I thought there was a reference to Halo for just a second there, but I don't think... I don't think it was around then. SES 009? That's right. I'm the last member of the 00 series. Yeah, that's right. What? Hey, come on, you guys. So you don't care or don't believe me? Alright, cool. Well, that was a total bus. Guess that trick. Guess that trick's not gonna work without an otherworldly piece of technology like the game guy. Probably for the best. Well, whatever. Yeah, no problem. 
たませ。大胆だね。Yo, is that Ayamine? Wait, is that Ayamine going like? Girl, I just want you to know, you have what we call the thirst. Is that what? Is that what Ayamine is like to? <laughs> You better not be implying what I think you are. Oh, oh, I am. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I want to be able to do that. So, I want to be able to do I'm guessing you want into Ayamine. Is that a problem? Harem ending. What settled? What are you even talking about? Alright, fine. Guess I could teach you guys one of my signature moves if you really insist. <laughs> what? Come on, why not? Good evening, Sensei. What you been up to today? Oh, thank you so, so much. Gratingly grateful. Nice. Honestly, I never thought you'd be do so much to help us out with our TSF training. Yeah, but still. Yeah. Oh, shit. Last time you made a ton of arrangements to help us get a feel for them early on, so I was kind of expecting something like that, but... Still, I feel like this is kind of hurt the squad in general. Shit. Definitely. Yeah, it kind of is. Wait, seriously? Uh, guinea pigs? Yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want you to poke my brain. Sensei, are you hitting a wall with your research? Well, you're kind of reminding me of how I get sometimes right before a test. When it isn't going well, I start wanting to clean my room instead of studying. Oh, alright, well, fine then. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Yeah, but also... <laughs> I knew it. Does it have anything to do with those 15 billion semiconductors? Huh? ヤクゴ Sensei? This is the lost cause. She's off in her own little world now. I guess I'll just leave then. Maybe I should pop over and see Kasumi slash not Sumika, though. There she is. Howdy there, Kasumi. Is staring at a brain all day seriously that entertaining? I feel like it'd just make me sick, honestly. 
Oh, you still have that she seashell. I'm really glad you like it. The girl really knows... Oh, shit. She put it up to her as soon as I came to the room. The girl really knows how to make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Nice. Nice. So what do you think? Does it make you want to grow, go to the beach? Goa goa hmm? Oh, yeah. Rumbly, huh? Yeah, I guess you aren't literally hearing the ocean after all. Goa goa. Goa goa. <laughs> You're a pretty funny kid, you know that? Oh yeah, I never told you, did I? We passed the comprehensive combat skill evaluation. Now we're finally on to TSF training. Omedeto. Thanks. Alright, you don't have to keep holding that thing to your ear. I'm really glad you like it, though. Oh, yeah? Well, you must be hearing the waves of the ocean that lives in your heart. Well, alright then. <laughs> Well, no, not literally, but humans evolved from sea creatures, so the sound of the ocean's just ingrained into our genetic code. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, fair point, I guess, must be coming from your memories. Like a day when you went to a beach, went to the beach or something. What? You've never been to the sea? Hmm? Did she overhear some of that? Oh, uh, are you sure about that? What about your research? Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'll see you later, Kasumi. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. These scenes are always so sweet. been dreaming. I don't know why, but my head is killing me. It feels like I didn't sleep a wink. Huh? Who's there? Hello, Kasumi. Yeah, I'm up. Uh, hey, you dropped something. It's a sketchbook. What's up? Is it really that big of a shock to find me already awake? So Kasumi actually knocks on the door before she comes in. I guess I've always just slept right through it. <laughs> Yikes, that's probably not a good sign, is it? Given that I'm a soldier and all. Uh, hey, don't just bail on me. What's wrong? No, I'm, I'm already awake. You okay? Your hands are trembling. Sorry, dude, I'll try to be asleep next time, alright? Here's your sketchbook. You gotta peep that shit open, dude! <sighs> Ugh, fuck. Hmm? What, what, what is it? Huh? Thanks? Thanks for what? 
Hey, there's something drawn in here already. Wait. What the... And I, I know this thing. Bye bye. Huh? Wait up. Oh, what? Excuse me? I'm going crazy. This has to be the game guy. That's right. She did this before. Yeah, she did this last time, too. Yeah, she did. On my birthday, when they released me from the detention barracks. She did the exact same thing. She brought me a sketchbook, and inside there was a picture of a game guy. How is this possible? But there was no game guy like brought into the alt this universe this time around. So that's what's weirding me out right now. Seriously, how the hell can this be? Last time I figured you, Sensei, must have ran, just ran some ran for some reason and found the game guy. That's what I'm thinking. But that can't be what happened this time. Yeah, I left it back at my house, which doesn't have shit in it. And when Yuko Sensei sent ba someone back to check out, check out on my place, it was all in ruins. Yes. The game guy shouldn't even exist in this world. Nobody's got the time to make handheld consoles over here. I don't get it. What the heck is going on here? I can't wrap my head around this. She's in this game. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Come to think of it, Kasumi used to remind me of Sumika in a lot of ways. Oh, really? Oh, really? Even though she's way quieter and they don't look at all alike. That's right. Now I remember. Just then, for a bleeding second, I thought Kasumi might actually be Sumika. No way. That's crazy. There's no way in hell. I'm like comparing the two. They don't look too... Like, the facial structure is the same, but the eyes are different, the hair is different. Uh, this is weird. And she, it looks like she, like, Kasumi is younger. They're totally unique and different people. But then, how do you explain this drawing? How could Kasumi ever know about the game guy? Why did she give me this picture to me on my birthday last time? Why did she come to wake me up every day? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Kasumi, who are you really? Weird shit's going down, fam. Could you possibly be Sumika? No, that can't be it. And yet somehow I feel like there's gotta be something connecting the two of you. Oh god! Hmm? Hey, Tama! Getting pumped for this too? Wow, Fubuki's, huh? 
I haven't seen these babies in ages. Uh, this really takes me back. Oh, hey! Oh, please. I'm still here way ahead of schedule. So? Besides, it's not like the Fubukis are just gonna up and leave. <laughs> no, I can guarantee they won't. Whatever, dude. No way! You freaking liar, they're still. they're totally still there. Baka. No, uh, I mean, I started it. Oh, wow, here we go. No, not even close. We're not going to be getting in these or fuck. We're not going to be getting in the into in these today, right? The So da Daga Kitai Sebi Mo Kokupito no Kojin Chosemo Kyoju niwa wara se Oh you going to bed, Evan? Alright. Hey man, thanks thank you so much for modding and uh don't worry, I'm not too far behind you. I think I'm going to try and finish up. I might finish up this one scene. Maybe go to the end of this chapter. But other than that, I'm pretty much done, Ski. But hey, man, thanks for all of your help. And thank you for getting me into this. This is not only today's episode, but, you know, this entire series. And uh, thank you for the donations. That's what I was here to do. And you reached my ha goal halfway for it. So... I'm just, I'm really stoked, I'm really pleased, and, uh, I'm gonna put the donation up as soon as you're done, and I'll, I'll send you, I'll send you a message about it. So, I appreciate it, man. Have a good night, though. Appreciate it. Wow, the professor's really kicking things into high gear. I gotta hand it to these mechanics for even being able to deal with this crazy schedule. <laughs> Yeah, because they're working overtime because he's speeding up the, the timeline. Huh? Wait. You mean they didn't send us a bunch of beat up old junkers? Was that also the professor's doing? She was going to give us brand new TSFs? We don't really need brand new ones. Besides, the joysticks on new ones are really stiff, too. So... I mean, that's what I've heard, at least. <laughs> I've got to stop doing that. Guess she must be... She must like... Uh... <laughs> Guess she must uh, like getting them brand new, huh? And she's how old? The fact that she actually turns those crazy ideas into something worthwhile is what makes her incredible, I guess. That's right. I just know Sensei's gonna come through for us this time. さて、私はそろそろ行くが、各自ほどほどにしておけよ。集合には遅れるな。ケレ。私たちも行きましょうか。Yeah, probably. Hmm? What what? And there it is. Yep, she's looking pretty conflicted, which is understandable. I mean, Tsukuyomi, Tsukuyomi san and the gang only brought it here out of consideration for her well beings, but still. Wow. A Takamikazuchi, huh? <gasps> oh, jeez, what's got you all jumpy? <laughs> Shit, dude, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> well, 
I mean, I know as much as anyone else would. Let's drop the ball there. There, the Shogunate's special TSFs for the exclusive use of the Imperial Royal Guard. I wonder why that is. And this one is, and this is the purple one that was custom made specifically for Maya. Mm -hmm. As I recall, it ended up sitting in the hangar forever, collecting dust. I never saw it actually in motion. Not as far as I can remember, anyway. Pretty sure Ayamine is weirder than I am in any day. Yeah, well, by lack of manners, this is my only real talent, you know. Shit, she's on to me! <laughs> well, well, that's not just pure talent, actually. Oh, shit. Uh, nothing, forget it, because that's gonna work. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Wow, that actually worked, okay. Oh crap, if I don't stop her, Tsukuyomi's Su gonna... Tama, wait a second! Wait, look, just don't touch it, alright? If she went and rubbed her hands all over it like last time, Tsukuyomi-san would have given her another backhanded slap across the face. I'm uh, sorry, that lady over there is kind of scary looking, so... Oh, Tsukuyomi ka. Tsukiyo, Tsukuyomi, Tsukuyomi. Okay, and then there's the miserable duo, or the miserable trio, excuse me. I kind of figured she'd be a little more pissed off if anybody touched it, you know? Tsukuyomi, okay. <laughs> Would you look at that, the three idiots are looking over here, too. Heh, <laughs> three idiots. I'm surprised I still remember that nickname after all this time. Honestly, it's going to be hard to call them anything else. メイヤ様、つくよみ。つくよみ。何でしょう。メイヤ様。私どもにそのような総合戦闘技術評価演習合格おめでとうございます。喜んでいるようには見えぬな。私は兼ねてより、メイヤ様がこのような場所におられることは承服しかねると申し上げてまいりました。私の意思だ。しかし、メイヤ様がここにいらっ
そのお心遣い無限になさいませぬよう名誉様勝手にするがよいご承諾感謝いたしますそれでは私どもは失礼させていただきます So much mean mugging. Looks like they still hate me. I mean, I knew they would, but it still sucks. What did I even do anyway? Hmm? Oh, uh, I'll catch up with you guys. I've got some place I need to go first. Sukiyomi san, and the three idiots, of course. Nao yobu yuru shi o ataita oboe wa nai na, shiro gane takeru. Yeah, sorry about that. Nani o shiteiru to kiiteiru. Uh, it just looked like you wanted to say something to me, ma'am. <laughs> How do you know my name? Machigai dewa nasa sou da ne. Sono yo desu ne. Sorry, mistaken about what? Omae wa nani mono da? What do you mean? It sounds like you already know my name. I'm Shirogane Takeru. About what? It's the same as last time, yep. Yeah. It's the same as last time. What do you mean by that? I'm right here, alive and well. Is, is this just how the Royal Guard, Guard operates? All questions, no answers? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what you mean. What are you talking about? I don't understand what you think I've done. It's not like I... It's not like I assigned myself to her squad. Not really sure what you're getting at. Well, unlike last time, I guess I do have an ultimate objective here, but still. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. くよみ、神よともえ、ヘビス。まだいたのか。ここで何をしていた。名屋様をそのように呼ぶなど。よい。私が許した。名屋様はこの者がどのようなもう Oh shit. メイヤ様。下がれと申した。は。行くぞ。しかし。失礼しました。王様のままに。はい。つくよみ。はい。日頃の備えた達の心遣いには感謝している。もったいない I should ask Yuko sensei about it. She looked up Sumika's name in the census records last time. I'm sure she can figure this out. Oh shit. Takeru? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come on. Don't start treating me like I'm a total weirdo now. Because I'm a baller, bitch. <laughs> Come on, didn't I just tell you this? Manners aren't really my thing. Or what? Is this your way of telling me how to show more respect? 
after being in the previous world for a few years, I came to understand just how different the government here is from my worlds. Here, the Emperor appoints an Imperial Shogun with full authority over all national affairs. My world never even had a head of state like that. Just tug in your chain, girl. Chill. Well, in a way, I guess that's true. I only have a vague understanding of how this world's Japan works. But that's still but that was still enough to get by last time around. The intricacies of the Japanese government have nothing to do with whether humanity wins or not, so honestly, I couldn't care less. And of course, it's not it's got no bearing on my personal relationship with Maya, period. Are we sure about that? But I mean, doesn't the rest of the squad act pretty casual around you too? Maybe not as much as me, but still. Seriously? I never noticed. I have that effect. You think? Mm. Hey, do you mind if I ask you something? Nanda. I don't look like a dead man to you, do I? What? Come on, just tell me, am I dead or what? Huh? I see. I'd try to explain, but you probably wouldn't believe me. Just don't get the idea that I'm intentionally hiding anything from you, okay? Hell, even I don't know what's going on with me half the time. Anyway, I think we'll come to understand each other better over time. That's part of what it means to be comrades, right? I know everyone in the squad can be a little touchy about their past, so I understand why you guys try not to pry, but I'm just not good at being considerate about that sort of thing, I guess. <laughs> then again, if I'm gonna go around sticking my nose in your business, I should really start off by telling you all about myself. <sighs> I'm kind of a hypocrite, aren't I? I don't think you're getting it. Like, look. We're going to be trusting each other with our lives, right? I want to get close enough to you guys that we can talk about stuff like this with each other. For what it's worth, I'll try to open up to you as much as I can. So, um... I know it's going to be a slow... It's going to be slow going at first, but someday... I hope we can get over that hump together. I can't seem to find the right words for this. I mean, I do want us to understand one another, but there are some things I just can't tell Maya and the others. That's why I'm having trouble expressing my feelings. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hopefully, it'll be some day soon. I'm such a liar. I may only recall bits and pieces, but I clearly, clearly remember humanity's bitter defeat. I'm trying as hard as I can to make sure Alternative Four uh, to make Alternative Four succeed, so that the future doesn't play out that way again. Unless building a stronger sense of camaraderie is guaranteed to help make Alternative Four success, it's pretty low on my priority list. I do mean it when I say I want us to really get to know each other, but damn it! Not only am I a liar, I'm also a total hypocrite. Anyway. We should get going. If we hang back here too long, people are going to start spreading rumors about us. Hmm? Babe! Yeah, yeah. Enough with the formalities, alright? <laughs> now, come on. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Are we still in training mode? It's to the right! Take this! Where's the next one? Above me? Great, out of ammo. Get in close! 
Knife him! Take that! Whoa! Gotcha. Just a little forward dash out of the crouch out of a crouch cancel. I could land that one with my eyes closed. Man, you can definitely tell the Fubuki series is a state of the art after piling a Gekishin. Okay, make sure it was right. Gekishin. It's clear as much as it's clear as day how much of a luxury it is to train with the Fubukis. Fubukis. Ah, oh, fuck! I clicked out. Shit! Shit! All right. Is that all right? Cool. The Fubuki is more flexible, maneuverable, and responsive. But on the flip side, that means the controls are hypersensitive to even the slightest of inputs. Sure, the Gekishin is Gekishin is was pretty rough in comparison, but it was also easier to control. It's actually kind of scary how quickly I got used to it. The first time I hopped into one, it felt unbelievably clunky and unresponsive. Well, whatever. Once I accumulate some data and and the feedback system starts to kick in. This should get a little easier. I just wish there was more intuitive way to perform combos and cancels, you know. We're throwing in some Street Fighter? Maybe like a special command for an auto-cancel or something. <laughs> then it'd be just like a video game. And that takes me back. It's been over three years since the last time I played one. Last time I ran, I got so hyped up being inside a real-life Valjernon or whatever. God, I was so naive. It took a hell of a lot more work to master this stuff in real life. Not at all like Valjernon. Ah, Valjernon. There's no way to make the make TSFs that simple. There's, but there's got to be a way to get a little closer to it in terms of intuitiveness. Like in beginner mode, you can set single button shortcuts for combos and auto cancels and stuff. I remember turning those on whenever I just wanted to power through the game. The beginner mode was original was for the original Valjernon port was so well made. Man, you go, Sensei. You should be working on something like that instead of some weird brain implant crap. A beginner mode, huh? Wait a sec. That's actually a pretty great idea. A TSF operating system that functions just like Al Valjernon? Of course! You already control them indirectly via brainwaves as it is. So if we built those kinds of automatic those kinds of automatic combos and cancels like the basic controls that make it so that anybody could pull off my moves holy shit I'm a genius I'm gonna ask Yuko sensei right now sensei sensei remember how you said you wanted to kill some time messing around with the TSFs or whatever then I've got the perfect project for you. Huh? I have the perfect product for you. Well, we don't have the time to redesign the hardware from scratch, let alone do all the necessary testing and whatnot. Remember how I told you about my world? The one without the beta? Well, in that world, we had these games that were super popular. They were like simulators, but you could use them at home. And you know, all those crazy stunts I do? Well, they call they all came from that game, and with a little practice, anybody could do the same moves as me. When I first started learning to pilot TSFs, I was a little thrown off by how different they were from what I was used to, but once I got used to piloting them, I wound up being able to imitate a lot of the moves from those games. Me, an amateur with zero piloting experience, and it's all thanks to how advanced the TSF's auto autonomic control technology is. So instead of asking the pilots to make the TSF do those moves, why don't we just teach the TSFs to do them automatically? If you really think my skills are worth replicating, then we totally should do this. It'd make it so anybody out there could do what I do. That's good. Cancels and combos, of course. Cancel to combo. Cancels are, uh, okay. So, you know how when a TSF is about to fall all over, it automatically braces for impact. So, net. 
when it's going to, when it's going into that recovery sequence, it stops responding to user input, right? Basically, a cancel would just get rid of that. That's right. Being able to shoot while falling is way more important. Okay, so why not just design it so that only the arms and triggers can accept those commands? Basically, when a certain sequence of commands is given a certain time frame, the TSF would perform a move that it otherwise wouldn't. Going back to those games I was talking about, the controllers always have a cross-shaped button or a joystick to control your movement and a number of buttons for basic action commands. So let's just say you press the punch button three times and the kick button once. What do you think would happen? That's right. Let's just assume those were right hand punches and forward kicks. Oh fuck. We're getting into Street Fighter. <laughs> so this time, if we press those buttons really fast, like punch, 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 kick, it'd instead be a right hand punch, then a left hand punch, another right hand punch, and a reverse roundhouse kick. That's what we call a combo. Yeah, that's about the gist of it. I mean, that could work, but then if what if you do the first three punches and then you realize something bad's about to happen? You want to be able to cancel out that roundhouse kick, right? By inputting some other move. That's right. なるほど。言いたいことは概ね分かったわ。要点は2つ。操作の簡略化と機動制御のパターン化。あ、guess uh, well... I mean, it doesn't really matter who. I guess it can do it for starters. You can just convert my control logs, can't you? Really? Well, in that case... But... ...そんな決まり切った動きしかできない柔軟性のない機械が実践で役に立つのかしら? <sighs> いっておくけど、戦術機に求められているのは全天候、全環境を展開制圧能力なのよ。But、戦場の環境は毎回違ってくるし、敵がいつも同じような距離で同じような動きをしてくれるわけじゃないでしょ。タイミングの取り方はど
昔どこかで聞いたことがあるなんていう記憶の呼び出しはない I see 他にも綺麗だとかブサイクだとかまずそうだとか見たものから連想して次の思考を生み出すのは不可能なのよ So they have no imagination you mean? あまり厳密ではないけどまあ間違いではないのね Wait, but wasn't there a computer that beat the world chess champion at one point? That was one time. That was. That one was totally reading his moves ahead of time. Hmm. Anata no seka ni wa sonna no ga atta wa ke? Yes. Sono hanashi dake ja, ima no setsumei no hanshou ni natte nai no? Why not? Sore wa semai hanyi de, sara ni gente sareta rule ga aru kara kano na no. Oh. Sate, koko de mondai. Senju tsuki wa. チェスの盤上のようないかなる場合でも変化しない状況でしか使われない ?No, of course not. となるとなぜ戦術機の操作が完全に自動化されず間接的な統計思考制御という形で人間の判断に委ねられているか ?No matter how many patterns you program into it, no machine could utilize them properly since it wouldn't be able to make accurate judgments for itself.Of course, guess, guess games really are just games. In Dalgernon, no matter what kind of complex combo you threw at it, it was always operating under the basic rules of the game. But on the battlefield, you need to be able to react to anything the life throws at you. All sorts of information is coming at you from all over, and the situations are constantly changing. So asking a machine to make an accurate decision based on, based around all that is pretty much a, a lost cause. Man, and here I thought I was really on to something. What? Huh? Parallel processing? Oh, right, she said this last time too. And then she started going on about those 15 billion semiconductors. Huh? Right, I mean, Right, I mean, the human being in the cockpits ultimately making all the decisions. So AI doesn't exist. As simple as a TSF? She's sounding a little too confident now. That wouldn't happen to be something you built yourself, would it? So, yeah. 違う目的のために作ってた試作段階のものだけどね。あ、fuck。Why haven't you used it up until now? どれも戦術機に使いたいなんて言わなかったし、私の守備範囲はもっとマクロなところだし。Shit. Sorry, I'm trying to find the right setting for this. Alright, there we go. Uh, no one ever asked me about applying to TSFs before, and I'm trying to help us on a much grander scale, you know? Sensei, TSFs are critical to finding the beta. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm getting tired, guys. I think we're, think we're gonna drop off soon. There's no way I'm the only one here with complaints out there, is there? I'm not sure that sounds like a compliment. Crude? <laughs> well, thanks, I guess. Is she actually praising me here? It's so hard to tell. You can do that? Awesome, please do. Yes, man, that makes me so. So, man, so that makes me. Test pilot, huh? Test pilots are supposed to be the cream of the crop among pilots. 
戦術機でやる人間があなたの他にいるああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。Yeah, they better be. Huh? Ah, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Sensei? Nandemo no ima. Ja, Hitsuya na toki niwa yobu kara. Understood. Oh, uh, one more thing. It's really important. Nani yo? It's about me this time. I want you to look something up for me. Nani? First Lieutenant Tsuki. Tsuko. Oh, I, I fucking. I'm gonna butcher this name. Uh, to kill me, of、uh, the Imperial Royal Guard just asked me why a dead man was training here. She said the same thing to me last time around, and now it's really starting to bug me. No, what? So then, what you're saying is,、uh, there's another me in this world, too. And I've already been killed. You mean, <laughs> I'm dead? What Skyomi san said was the truth? I'm already dead in this world? I mean, I wouldn't see you lasting very long if you were like regular Muffla Shogane. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Well, it would have been one less thing for you to hide. Sensei! She's right. I'm still here, and I'm alive. And if nothing else, if my memories are of any indication, I'm going to stay alive for another two years, at least. Well, as long as it has nothing to do with me, I guess I can accept that. Well, couldn't it? Thanks. And that's how Tsukiyomi san found out. I know that the person who died wasn't really me. I understand that.、So、why does this feel so overwhelming? I'm here right now, and I'm alive and well. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, right. Anyway, um, you wouldn't have to know when I died or where, would you? No shit. She's right. What would I even do with that information? You're right, it really doesn't matter. I know. It was just some other guy with the same name. End of story. I'm fine. I just needed a moment to let this sink in. So, yeah, oh, yes, and good night. Thanks again for your help with those TSFs. Shit. Well, we're on page two now, boys. Alright. Alright. I think that's it for tonight.、Um, I'm starting to fall off. I'm starting to get sleepy.、Um, but I had a really good time. And I'm hooked. And I'm probably going to play this game more tomorrow.、Um, I'm going to see if I can get some good sleep tonight. And then、um, I have a couple errands I want to run. And then we'll come back to this. 
maybe play a little bit of MechWarrior Online too, just because it fits the theme, and I really want to play it lately. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely expect this in the future. Um, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be fun. And uh, super big shout out to Enjoy Evan. Um, if you're just kind of bumbling onto this page and you found my video and you don't know who that is, go on Twitter and look up Enjoy Evan and follow him and give him all the love and support he deserves. A uh, huge thank you to all the people who've donated, especially Evan because he's donated the, mo the most and um, I'm going to be putting all of that towards uh, Hurricane Harvey victims. Um, he made a personal donation to me, which I will be putting, which I will be putting in towards uh, the link down below. Um, that's the the donation link to the Red Cross is down below in the donation event box. Um, so yeah, uh, but we're halfway towards my goal, and if we can get, I think it's eighty more dollars by tomorrow, I will have hit my goal, and. I will just be really happy that we donated $200 to Hurricane Harvey victims um, because that's it's important to me and you know as small as it might seem and as negligible as $200 is you know it's something and every everything counts so hopefully we'll raise a little bit more money by then um, but for now I'm gonna go to sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Squirrely, signing out. <laughs>